Acute myeloleukemia is an hematological disorder which is still associated to, uh, to really high unmet medical needs. Therefore, it is important and fundamental to identify innovative strategies and CAR T cell immunotherapy really represents an option for all the people uh, relapsing and resistant to the standard uh, chemotherapeutic regimens or also uh, relapsing after the transplant. So in our group we are exploiting a peculiar population of effector T cells to be redirected by CARs that are called the cytokine induced killer cells. So these cells share some antileukemic functions with the natural killer cells such as the non-MHC restricted cytotoxicity against a variety of tumors and they have been shown in the clinic to be um, a minimally alloreactive and to have a minimal GVHD, so they are a safe population to be uh, used to be engineered by cars. And moreover, the CIK cells are able to uh, reach infiltra leukemia infiltrated tissues. So we thought uh, to use this uh, to exploit this effect of T cell population to be uh, engineered by cars. As a gene transfer method, we uh, use a non virus sleeping beauty transposon system method. Uh, that in order to cope with the many issues related to the use of viral vectors uh, such as high production costs and also uh, the cumbersome processes associated to viral vectors so we wanted to make a, a, like a, a platform that was feasible and also cost effective and transposons are really uh, really useful in that sense because transposon system has been shown to be um, cost effective, to be non-immunogenic and easy to purify. So we were able to optimize a car CIK cell engineering platform and uh, this platform is currently under a clinical investigation in a phase one trial uh, treating CD19 positive ALL patients relapsing after transplant. Concerning AML, we are doing the preclinical work, so we are trying also to, uh, to set up all the preclinical activities in order to go in the clinic also for uh, the treatment of AML. So the target antigen is represented by the CD33 antigen, which is overexpressed in the majority of, of, AML, of, of AML patients. And uh, so we were able to use this uh, non-viral platform to manipulate CIK cells to be uh, engineered by the CD33 car. And in this context, we were able also to further optimize the transposon platform because we are using a novel uh, combination of transposons, Sleeping Beauty transposons, that is like the SB100X transposase and a new generation of the, P, uh, the transposon plasmid, the PT4, that is uh, engineered to express uh, the, the CD33 car. So by using this novel platform, we were able to lower in the amount of transposase, which is related to less DNA toxicity associated to the electroporation of the cells. And the, um, even with lower amount of transposase, we could reach high uh, car expression above 60% on our cells. These cells are really functional in terms of cytotoxicity, cytokine production and proliferation upon target antigen encounters, so uh, during vitro assays against AM cell lines and primary blasts. And moving to the in vivo part, we were able to uh, develop three different PDX models. So an early treatment model mimicking MRD in which CD33 CAR CAK cells were able to reduce the AML development in peripheral blood, spleen and bone marrow. And these cells were also effective in a, in a second model in which we treated mice when we saw a clear bone marrow engraftment. So when we had a bulky disease and also in this case the cells were able to delay a product, product, uh, progression over time. And then we set up a chemotherapy xenograft model like mimicking the relapse and the resistance after induction therapy. That is the real clinical need that we have. So we have to face with these patients that are relapsing and are resistant to standard regimen. And in this case, also in this peculiar aggressive setting, CD33 CAR CAK cells were able to control the disease. So this is the preclinical part that we are currently optimizing in terms of optimizing also the car design, making different uh, uh, comparisons of different cost simulations, but then we will move to the translation uh, of this approach also in the clinic and we hope to, to design a clinical study soon.